everyone, welcome back. Keith here, KF Canyon Ranch BMW i8 salvage project. What we're going to work on today is doing our final mock-up on this rear seat pan and getting it bonded into place. Now what I've already done is used the subframe from my donor, mounted it up into place kind of as an alignment jig to keep me right on track and nice and square and true. This piece right here I've already bonded into place. It bolts to the subframe so I know that it's right where it needs to be. So we'll do our final mock-up on that seat pan in just a little bit. I'm really excited to tell you that I picked up a fantastic product sponsor, Permabond. Now you've heard of them, whether you've been at your do-it-yourself or store or you've done some research. They're fantastic, tons of products. They really do a lot in the commercial, automotive, and aerospace world. So I reached out to our friends at Permabond. They sent me their ET5429. This is their slow cure two-part epoxy perfectly suited for this carbon fiber project like I'm working on. One of the great things about Permabond is you can go online and you can print out all the product specs on anything that you're thinking about using to see if it works for your application. Their tech line is fantastic for helping as well. This two-part epoxy comes with the mixing straws and this little adapter that you put them into so that you can use them in a regular caulking gun like this one. Now you know I'm going to be laying down a lot of epoxy with this project so I went with a battery powered caulking gun to give my hand a little relief. So in a few minutes we're going to start putting down some ET5429 Permabond and I'm going to show you how to do it right. So I've been working on getting the seat pan fitted into place. So we're going to mock that up right now, do some final fitment, get all my clamps set aside so that when I start epoxying things up I can get right to it looks pretty good through here. I think a couple of these blocks of wood right down here will keep this seam nice and tight. I'll probably glue up, ep epoxy up this bulkhead first and then come back and work on this rear section afterwards along this, I'm going to call this a frame horn. So let's work on this bulkhead. Okay, we've got this seat pan fitted into place. So I'm going to pull off my clamps and blocks that are going to keep everything where we need it nice and snug. We're going to start putting down some epoxy and then we're going to get it bonded. What I'm going to bond first is that bulkhead area. I'm going to leave the actual seat back alone for now. I'll come back and rebond that later after the bulkhead cures. Let's start putting down some epoxy. Alright, so all of our bonding joints are going to get a final wipe down with some isopropyl alcohol just so we've got a nice clean, smooth, dirt-free surface here. And then we'll wipe down the receiving surface inside the car. Okay, we've got our two-part epoxy compound mounted into the caulking gun. I like to use a little clamp here just to hold this adapter in place because I'm going to be going through a lot of these. And we've got our mixing straw on. So, start putting a little pressure onto it. You'll see it starts mixing itself as it comes through this mixing straw. Of course, with these mixing straws, they come with a small tip and you can cut back to the different size of beads you want to push out through this mixing straw. So I've nipped my end off because we're going to go through a lot of epoxy. So the idea is we're going to lay down a nice bead of epoxy and then I'm going to smooth this out with just a nice, clean, fresh popsicle stick. What we don't want are any air pockets in the epoxy. We want enough on here that we've got, oh, maybe a sixteenth to a thirty-seconds inch layer after we smooth it all out. And then once we put it together and clamp it down, we want a little bit to squish out of the edges. That way we're sure we've got nice, even application inside. Okay, so I've used my popsicle stick to spread out the beads of epoxy that I've put down. What I don't want are any air holes or thin spots. That would create a void in the joint and that'd be a weak spot. I want a nice thick layer on here. This ET5429 bonding epoxy can handle a crack up to 0.2 inches. I want enough that with just a light clamp I get some squeeze out the sides. Let's get this thing into place. We're going to bring this rear seat pan bulkhead over, slide it into place, get it clamped down, and we'll let that cure. We'll come back later and do the rest of our joints and um, fittings later on. 
I wanted to use the slow cure epoxy so that I had time to kind of fiddle around and get things straightened out. Now, the last thing I wanted to do was rush on it and, and, and be concerned that the epoxy was drying too quick. So we've got our bulkhead fitted into place and epoxied. We've got some blocks to keep tension where we want it. We've got our bolts for our subframe, keeping everything nice and aligned. Clamping it all, all around the top. And what we'll do is just wait for that epoxy to cure. And then we'll start working on the rest of our, par our parts. Well, that wraps up today. We've got that bulkhead bonded into place with Permabond. I'm going to put a link down below in the description to their product webpage. Check them out, see if they've got something that'll work for your next project. And please like and subscribe. Click that little bell for notifications so that you'll know when we send out our next segment. We'll see you soon.